everyone, and thanks for stopping by for another episode of the Edit With Me Monday show. The show where we make editing in Lightroom super, super simple, so you can go ahead and crush those edits. Now, first of all, I just wanted to say there are a bunch of new faces around the channel, so if you're one of the ones who subscribed because of that tone curve video, thank you so much, and you're also gonna love this video, because today I'm breaking down the HSL slash color panel in Lightroom. Now, much like the tone curve, the HSL color panel looks a lot more confusing than it is. It's actually very, very simple. The most complicated part is that there's just four different ways to view the exact same thing. So I'm gonna show you the best and easiest way to use the panel so that you can get some tasty colors in your photos. Let's dive in. All right, so before we jump into the HSL panel, I should probably explain what HSL stands for, and that is hue, saturation, and luminance. And those are really the three elements that really affect all of the colors in your photo. So in this image, I've done a lot in the HSL panel to really give all these colors life. So here's the before which is just sad. Like this is a photo you would just delete if you looked at. This is why I love Lightroom and the after. Before, after. So you can really see how powerful the HSL tool is. So now let's get a little bit more in depth on how each of those elements impact your photo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pick a basic blue thing here so we can work with that and you can really see how it impacts. So we're gonna go over here this is the HSL color panel. One thing that you're gonna notice is this looks a lot different than the other ones. It has these slashes and then different options. So let's expand this to look at that a bit more. So B&W is just black and white. We're not gonna worry about that today. So that just leaves these two different options, HSL and color. And this is sort of embarrassing, but when I first started editing in Lightroom, I thought that these were two different things. Like I thought that they impacted my photos in different ways because look, they look just so different. So I thought they were different tools. They're not, they are totally the same thing. It's just different ways to view the exact same tool. So in the HSL viewing option, you're literally viewing things by hue, saturation, and luminance. And in each of those headings, the colors are grouped together. I'm not a huge fan of this way because I just start to get confused like there's reds here and here and here and I like to see them all together which luckily when you choose the color option you can do which is great. So now it's organized by the color tones and each of them has the hue, saturation and luminance together with it. I really think that this is the best way to edit in this panel but choose what you like. This is just my personal favorite. So now let's go and see how hue, saturation, and luminance actually affects your photos. So I'm dealing with a blue image here, so let's go to the blue section. So hue is the tone of the color. You know when you go to a paint store and there's like a hundred different swatches of blue? That's basically kind of like what this is. So we can take this blue color and say, no, nah, I want it to be more of a teal blue because that's the trendy thing. Or we could be like, no, I don't want it to be blue at all. I want it to be purple. So just moving this slightly, we are totally changing the color tone of this blue. So we can go right here where it's really, really bright teal all the way back to the original blue it is. And then we can go into purples, even like magenta. And now we're basically at pink. So we can totally change what this blue color looks like in the hue. Hue is definitely the most powerful part of this whole panel. Then we can also go into saturation, which basically is taking out color or making that color more intense. This is already a really intense color, so you can't really go too much more, but you can see a little bit there. And then the last option is the luminance, which is basically brightness. So we're either gonna make that color brighter or we're gonna make it darker. So those are the three things that you can change about every single color in your photo when you are in this panel, hue, saturation, and luminance. So now let's look at that on a real 
photo. All right, so here's my completely raw image. Now, before you get into the HSL panel, you should really go into this basic panel and do all your basic adjustments to your photo first. This is gonna make your life so much easier and then you're gonna be working with the colors as they really are. So these are the basic adjustments that I did on this photo. Honestly, everything I did in that change happened in here, bringing down the exposure a bit, adding some contrast, bringing down the highlights, adding up the shadows, some clarity, and just taking out a few little things that annoyed me over there to get this. I only did edits in the basic panel so far. So start with that and then move over to the color panel. All right, so we're happy with our basic edits. Now we're gonna move into the color panel. The first thing you wanna do is just notice the colors that you're working with. I have some blues here in the sky, which is gonna be a big part of the image. And then I also have some oranges, orange and yellows and red sort of in that sand. I wanna bring all of those colors out to make them really, really vibrant and beautiful. So let's start in the red section. I'm gonna make the hue a bit more orangey and I'm gonna bring up the luminance there so it's a bit brighter and maybe just the saturation a little bit. Now, I really wanna do a lot with the orange tones here because oranges and blues look amazing together. They're opposite colors, so it looks great. So I really want to bring up that saturation of the orange, maybe make it a bit more orangey and not yellowy. And now you can see it kinda of looks a bit too intense. But if I bring up the luminance and brighten that, it starts to look a lot better. Now I'm really liking this vibe, but I feel like there's too many yellow tones happening. So I'm gonna make this yellow more of an orange just to really bring that up. And then I'm gonna bring up the saturation of that really nice and bright. And again, this is looking a bit too much. I like to solve that with the luminance. The luminance will brighten it and also tone down some of the strength of that color. So now I'm thinking the sand the sand looks great, Scott's skin tone looks pretty good. I'm happy with where that is so far, so I'm gonna move into the blues. And one thing you'll notice when you're editing with this is that you're gonna kinda of go back and forth. You'll do some things with the warmer tones, then you'll go to the cooler tones, and you'll jump back and forth until you find what you really, really like. But let's jump into these blues and these kinda of aqua colors. Now, for the aqua, there's not too much happening here, and a good way to tell if it's affecting it is just go to an extreme back and forth, and you can really see where it's affecting it. So it's kinda of just affecting it in the highlights there of those blue tones. So I'm gonna make this more of a real blue than a teal color. I'm gonna bring up the saturation a little bit and I'm gonna bring down the luminance because they were pretty bright. And then now on the blue, we're gonna do a lot in the blue. So I could make this again like more of that teal blue and if you like that style, 100% go for it. This is where you really make that look come to life. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna go too teal. I'm just gonna go just a little bit. I like just a hint of things. I never like my colors to look fake or over edited or over processed. That's the number one mistake people can make in this panel is just like making colors way too saturated or way too unnatural and it just like something looks off. So if you're just starting in this panel, do little edits first, like just make colors pop and seem a bit more vibrant, a bit more beautiful. And then as you get comfortable, maybe do some more extreme edits. Now I'm gonna really bring up the saturation of this blue, about 30 something. And uh, I'm gonna bring down the luminance because I feel like the sky's a bit blown out. Um, it's actually not blown out, but I just feel like I don't get all those details. So if I bring down the blue, I'm actually gonna bring in more details there. See that difference? That still looks nice, but this, I'm just getting something a bit more depth to those colors, which I love. So let's go back to the beginning, see what we started with. Boring, bad photo and nice, crispy colors. Love this. Edit. So we have those like warm reds and oranges here. We really did a lot with the blues. Go back to that before. It's just sort of like kind of boring, a little bit washed out. And now we brought all of those colors back in. And the thing I really like about this, it still looks natural. Like this looks like a natural photo. You don't look at it and, and think, wow, this is like over processed HDR stuff happening. It just looks really, really nice. All right, so those were the basic edits in the HSL panel. They look great. This photo is great on its own, but I'm gonna give you a few little tricks to go from this 
to this. Uh, really, really simple things to just take your photo to the next level. These aren't in the HSL panel, but I just wanted to give you guys some, some tips here. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here to this gradient filter. Really, really simple. Just bring down the exposure, take it from the sky and drag it down. And again, now we just have a little bit more depth to that sky. That's what people do to really make their skies look awesome. Super simple, easy to do. So the next secret tip is we're gonna grab this circle filter here, bring it over part of your image. And again, we just want the exposure to be down a little bit. This is like sort of a vignetting effect you can see happening here just to give a bit more depth to that photo. I'm just doing it a bit off-centered because why not? And then again, grab that circle filter again, put one right over your subject, and this time we are gonna increase the exposure a bit. Now, big tip, make sure you click invert so we're actually making those changes to the, to the subject, not to the background. If you don't have invert, you're making the changes actually outside of it. Click invert, you're making the changes to it. We're gonna bring up the exposure, bring a bit of that warmer temperature vibe there. Make sure we have that really feathered. And boom, that looks so good. So those little secret tips were just with these little graduated filters there to give a bit more, a bit more depth, a bit more interest. So we go from that to that, which is dope. So happy with this edit. All right, so there you have it. Those are the basics of the HSL and color panel in Lightroom. As you can see, this is a super, super powerful tool for making the colors pop in your photos. Like always, I post these videos every single Monday, so if you wanna learn more about editing in Lightroom, make sure to hit that little subscribe button or the little bell if you are already. All right, until next time, peace out.